it's Monday. I feel like I haven't vlogged like a weekly vlog in a few weeks and that's because I haven't. <laughs> um, I obviously vlogged a bit over the Brussels trip but that wasn't really talking to the camera so hi camera, hi guys. Today is my brother's 21st birthday so I have bought him a present with help from my mum because obviously I'm not down south at the moment so I ordered it, they collected it and hid it and wrapped it and everything. So we're waiting to do that sort of surprise when my dad gets in for lunch from work um, so I'm going to Skype them, so that's about 12, between 12 and 1 o'clock and it's now 11 o'clock, so. At the moment I have a pile of Bonnie's toys that I'm fixing. I've just fixed two of them that she's going a bit crazy about. Can I, can I show you them? Come here, la, good girl. So I had to amputate a couple of legs from this octopus because she'd kind of bitten them in half and they got stuffing inside, so instead of like stitching up an end and having her, yeah I know you're going to go for it, just, just wait. Just wait. So instead of stitching up half a leg, I thought I may as well cut it off and just stitch it up there. Yeah, I'm trying to like, yeah, scavenge the last of her toys before Christmas because obviously I'm going to get her new ones for Christmas. But I don't want to have to buy her any new ones before then. <laughs> so this one I have to do a better job on its leg because she got that off. Um, again, the big octopus, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he needs his tentacles. Uh, Restitching, I might just cut those off like I did the little one to be honest. This alpaca she did very well with, like she's not chewed anything off of it and it lasted for a while, well she took its ear off but she hadn't got into the main stuffing bit um, for like a couple of weeks, no not even that, it was like a week, but that's pretty good for her. <laughs> and then she decided to remove its legs so yeah. So that is what I'm doing at the moment, I do have to go to the post office at some point and post out some orders, yeah I'm gonna do that after I've Skyped my family I think. So yesterday I didn't really vlog, I did Skype with my family from about 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, um, quite a long time but it was my brother's birthday and obviously I'm not down south. So I wanted to spend some time with them and then Jack came home and I spent time with him and then I got dinner and went to bed basically. Today though I've been going through the cloudy cow stock, um, if you didn't know I have a big sale on at the moment because I'm downsizing Cloudy Cow. I've decided to just stock charms and handmade items on there because that kind of is what brings me joy with the shops rather than buying in stock which buying in stock is fun and everything but it's very tedious, very time consuming um, and it's stressful to have things out of stock and not being able to restock them straight away because uh, I obviously buy from outside of the UK. So I've decided to sell off all of this stock, all of these washi tapes. As much as I'm not making a massive profit on them, um, I think at the moment I just want to clear the space and be able to start fresh in the new year. So if you are interested in buying any of this stuff with the sale discount code, um, I'll leave a link to my shop in the description. And I'll also leave the discount code below as well. Um, it was kind of a big decision to make because obviously it's my shop, it's my job and everything but I think it's going to free up a bit of time for me to put into my Patreon and YouTube which is obviously something that I love and get so much joy out of. So I think even though this is kind of a hard decision it's definitely going to benefit me and I'm excited, I am excited. I was a bit apprehensive when I first launched it, I was like, oh, how are people going to take this? But at the end of the day I don't want to be feeling like I'm catching up all the time. I want to be able to have some free time to just kind of take a breather if I need to. That's today. This week Jack does have basically the whole week off. He took some holiday days so we can just have a bit of chill time, sort some things around the house. We really want to get the fireplace sorted because it's still just gross and I think for Christmas time it'd be nice to have that sorted and like have a mantelpiece and stuff. I just 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 let me know. <laughs> She is currently in season, which has been pretty stressful. <laughs> um, it's, it's been easier than I thought it would have been um, in terms of like covering stuff and like, I don't know, like there's not blood everywhere. <laughs> Do you mind? I don't know. But yeah, it's just been like, it's tedious because we can't take her on as many long walks and stuff. I've still been taking her on walks. I've just been walking her like around the block and the walks have been a bit shorter. And then we've been playing with her inside a lot more. Um, I just keep thinking it's only for like <laughs> a few weeks and then she'll be fine. I don't know if we're gonna get her spayed 
after this season or if we're going to wait until she's had a second season because around the time that she would need to get spayed is the time where I'm having to go down south for a bit um something that we can't really change leave it <laughs> So I just got back from town. Get your snoz out. Oi. Leave it. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Leave it. In that bag is a load of toys and stuff for her for Christmas. And she knows it. <laughs> um, so I brought those upstairs to wrap and everything. I'm just hiding them in my wardrobe for now. You have to wait. No. Not for now. It's not for now. No. The other big thing that we bought, I say big thing, it's not really a big thing. Then we were sorting out furniture for each room. We came across these little storage, I don't even know, shelves, could you call them, um, in the range. And they are kind of a bit smaller than the Ikea Kallax. So the boxes inside aren't widely available. You can only really get them from the range and they sold out of the boxes that we wanted. They finally had all the boxes that we wanted, like the right number of boxes that we wanted in stock. So we got them, um, which means I now have pink and orange boxes in here rather than these gray and blue ones. And these gray and blue ones will be going in our bedroom. So I now have enough to fill this little unit and also this unit under my desk as well. Um, and then these should hopefully move over here once I've got rid of some of the cloudy cow stock. It's gone a bit dark so I I don't think you're going to be able to see this too well, but I have fitted all the green and pink ones in. I still need to figure out where to put all this stuff because some of these things didn't fit. Because they fit like slotted in, but not in the actual boxes. It is now the evening. I have had my dinner. I have chilled out a bit and I thought I'd best get on with some work. And I have a lot more orders than I anticipated to pack. So, so many of you have taken advantage of the sale, which I'm so grateful for because... It just helps me out a ton because I can obviously clear things out quicker and get on with the new stock and new plans that I've got a lot sooner than I wanted to. But yeah, this is everything that's been bought today. There is still stuff left. I don't know how much will be left when this video goes live, but I'll still leave a link below if there is. Yeah, I need to get these sorted. It's now quarter past nine and I need to pack all of these. I think there is about 20 orders. And as I'm packing, I'm watching Chloe's vlog from Planicon Week, so yeah. Today is posting day. We're also gonna go to Tops Tiles, hopefully, and get some tiles for the fireplace because I bought a mantelpiece the other day, so we're determined to get that fireplace sorted because it is a mess. And it's so annoying sitting on the sofa and having like an eyesore next to the TV. What great lighting. <sighs> I have to sit here on the floor, I think. Today has taken a different turn to what we planned. Um, I've just woken up from a nap and we didn't end up going to Tops Tiles and places to get stuff for the fireplace because, long story short, after I dropped some stuff off at the charity shop, we were parked on the street outside the shops and as I sat down in the car and closed the door, about a second, two seconds after I, like, close the door a woman basically an old woman face planted the floor outside and she didn't even put her hands up like she just went down like straight from walk 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 gone and I just shouted to Jack Jack get out of the car get out of the car and um, the woman's fallen down I jumped out of the car went over to her a man had seen her um, fall down as well he was walking past and us three managed to roll her over. She was lying there, propped her legs up, stuff like that. I held her hand and I ended up holding her hand until the ambulance got there. I was highly surprised that my anxiety didn't go skew if and make me have a panic attack. I was, I felt like my fight or flight actually worked for once. She was okay, she was talking the whole time. She didn't lose consciousness. She just had a massive, massive egg on her head like right on her forehead and um, bleeding nose and stuff. She also had Alzheimer's, which definitely hit home for me because my nan has Alzheimer's and just like talking to her and stuff um, reminded me of that. And yeah, it was different to what I thought today would go like, but I'm kind of glad that we were right there, like right, right there. Jack's done the first aid and stuff for his work and 
I have absolutely no first aid skills whatsoever, but I held her hand and spoke to her. So after that, we decided to come home instead because we were both like, what just happened? And we just ended up tidying the house and neating things up instead. Just, I don't know, we were both kind of at that point with the house. It was like, I just want it to be neat again. I then have had a nap. Jack's gone out for a run. He's not back yet. Um, but we've had a bolognese and a cooker all day. So we've got that to have for dinner. And then, yeah, so today's kind of been... <laughs> turned on its head a bit i haven't done any work i need to record a video for friday it's wednesday yeah um but i might get that done tomorrow i don't know or even this evening i might just have a crafty session this evening i'm currently filming a creative journaling session that should go up tomorrow i'm a little late with filming this but yeah the past few days have been a little bit upside down <laughs> this is what i have done so far i've mainly been using my little rainbow moon stickers because i've been really wanting to use them after i've done this we are going to go to tk maxx as well because i want to look at their christmas stuff and also for like christmas present buying and stuff like that and then when we get back i'm gonna have to edit and upload the video so it's ready for tomorrow yeah that's the plan for today we'll see whether it goes how we imagined but it might not we have just got back from tk maxx she is wearing a christmas jumper right now because i bought her a christmas jumper i wanted to make sure it fit and also she's not worn jumpers in a while and she's not used to it so i'm just kind of getting her back into the swing of it she doesn't wear them all the time obviously but for christmas i just think it would be nice to have a little jumper for her so we can kind of match and yeah, it'd be cute for little photos and stuff too. So first of all, the things I got for me, one was this, which is just a tray and it's really cute, but it was on sale for £2. Um, the only thing that's really frustrated me is the labels haven't come off properly. So it's left like a sticky mark on it. And again, I got this vase, which was £3. And again, the labels are not coming off very well at all. It irritates me because obviously there's the bottom that they could have put the labels on. Um, but no, they put it on the side of the thing, but it was only three pounds. And then we also chose a nutcracker because I don't know why, we've never had nutcrackers in my family before um, around Christmas time, but I've always loved how they look. I got a few packs of dog treats and then I got this toy. I got kind of a variety of different shapes. Um, this one has like a crackly thing in its hat. That's the other dog tree. And then also I got something for my mum, which I don't want to show. Yeah, and then I got a 2018 calendar for me and Jack as well. That we can put up in the kitchen somewhere and both write down when things are. This is Bonnie's dog bed that she uh, decided to chew a hole in last night. We tried her last night with a dog bed in her bed, like in her crate. She was just having the blankets because anything we put in there she would chew. So we have this old bed. <laughs> it's nothing for you. Although yeah, it probably smell like the treats and stuff. Yeah, the bed that's in here, we had that for the car for a little while. Um, but it's really, really cheap bed. It was like a fiver. So I've been putting her hard chews in there for a little while now and she's not touched the blankets as much. So I thought maybe if I put a bed in there, she might not chew it. But she did end up chewing a little hole. But to be honest, that's like she stopped herself. <laughs> when we first put a bed in there, she like ripped a massive hole in it, pulled out all the stuffing and was sat like in a pile of stuffing. So I've just been taking a closer look at this and this really irritates me when shops do this. So it's got a massive crack. I don't know if that's gonna show on camera, but it's got crack going down one side of it. And that, funny enough, is the side that has the sticker on it. You can see the line at the top of the sticker which obviously goes down and underneath comes out the other side. That would be why they put stickers on there instead of on the bottom or on the inside or something. Because they're trying to cover up that it's damaged. But for £3, I don't know if it's worth going and returning it. It just kind of taints the shop for me. Like, I'm going to be overcautious now. I don't want to think like that because it's so ridiculous. I am making myself some dinner. Um, the only pasta we have left, which I did not realise, is this. This is literally everything that we had left in the cupboard. Um, I noticed this after I put my chicken in. I could <laughs> change my meal around, but now I really fancy pasta and chicken and garlic bread. So I'm hoping this will expand. I think it will, it should do. And this little monkey has just been out for a wee and had a wee and now she's just being a pain in the butt, aren't you? We turn the light on so you don't freak out. Last night she freaked out massively because someone was walking their dog down the alley 
and she i've never seen her that terrified before quick quick then jack is currently out climbing he won't be back until about 10 probably more 11 o'clock because it closes at 10. So I have the evening to myself and I've been trying to do some Christmas shopping for him and I literally have no idea what to get him. He wants a watch, but I, I, he's not told me what and if I take a gamble on that, the likelihood of me getting it wrong is probably like very high. <laughs> I've just gone to check whether there was cheese for the pasta and that is what is left in this ginormous pack. It didn't turn out too bad. I think I've got like the perfect amount of everything. I have just woken up at this. She decided to shred the base of the bed. So yeah, she has not got a bed anymore. Um, we're gonna go back to blankets. It's really frustrating because she does enjoy having a bed in there, you can tell. Like in the day she goes and sits in there and stuff. When there's a bed in there, like more often she sits in there. This was only a cheap bed, so I'm not too worried about the price, but I was tempted to get her a new one for Christmas if she didn't shred it. Obviously that's out the window. So I've just been to the post office and posted off the orders that I had between Wednesday and today-ish. I've decided to dig out my receipts and accounts and stuff and I am stressing already. I've literally just taken them out of my filing cabinet, which I wasn't really filing things, I was just bunging them in somewhere so I had them all in one place. This is a side of self-employment that they don't tell you about or teach you about these are these are posting receipts they are supplies like things that i've bought for work and this is about a year's worth because obviously i moved house and i kind of put this on the back burner and then i got bonnie and again this was put on the back burner and now i need to do my tax return i think it has to be done by somewhere in january so yeah i'm gonna try and get somewhat started with it because it's just going to stress me out if not and I don't want to be doing it over Christmas. I actually don't mind sorting it and printing the receipts and like organising in that sense it's just when it's in a pile like that it's so big and scary. <laughs> I feel like if I can just get started with it I'll be on a roll with it and I won't feel so bad because it's one of those things that just lingers at the back of my head like you need to do your accounts, you need to do your tax return. It's now the end of Saturday and I didn't really vlog today because I have pretty much had my head stuck in my accounts and I have managed to catch up with things. Even though I haven't vlogged, I made use of my time really well, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> but before I forget, I need to show you something that came in the post last week, I think. I was sent this from a dental practice in London, in Fulham. They got in touch and asked if I wanted to receive one of these and just share it on a video. Funny enough, I had recently added one of these to my Christmas wish list that I was going to send to my family, so I was like, well, okay then, <laughs> I'll take that off my wish list. And they sent me this toothbrush. Um, I'm not going to do an in-depth review, obviously, because that's not what my channel's about. But I have never had an electric toothbrush before. Um, this would be my first time using one. I will let you know how I like it. This is the Pro 2 2500N. Don't know what that means. <laughs> this is the company that sent it to me, Pure Smiles. And I think they specialise in teeth whitening and Invisalign and stuff. If you are in the London area, then it might be somewhere to have a look if you're interested in any of those things. Yeah, they sent me this toothbrush and I'm actually really looking forward to having an electric toothbrush. In the whole 23 years I've been on this planet, I've never used one. I just got the Christmas stuff down from the loft and this is the first time. Bonnie has seen a Christmas tree before. <laughs> What's this? Look. What is it? It's a Christmas tree. What is it? It's okay. It's okay. Come here. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> it's alright. Good girl. See? What's that? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs>